So yesterday you guys with me saw that there is a new lockbox uh, inbound, we got some really cool traits, we got some really cool um, uniforms and we do have a new um, version of the discovery that's going to be inbound in uh, Star Trek Online in a couple of days. So definitely something to look forward to. Today we also got something um, new that is going to be the statistics of this beautiful looking ship. So let's get to that particular blog post. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the channel supporters out there that are supporting the channel financially and if you are willing to do so yourself there is a link in the video description. So our community ambassador, Ambassador Kale right here uh, released this particular blog post saying command the crossfield of the future. Now I do want to give out a sh or at least I do want to apologize for yesterday's video. I keep referring to the 23rd century um so it's you know um it's the 32nd century <laughs> i do apologize for that and some of you are actually uh writing a comment about that so my apologies uh or at least my apologies for you know for for stating that uh but anyway this video is going to be all about the new crossfield this is going to be the refit version it is going to be from the 32nd century and not the 23rd my apologies again uh but um some little bit of highlights i do not know who this particular guy is um i did see a twitter post coming through that this particular guy made this screenshot it looks amazing look at this this is definitely amazing looking screenshot um if you guys are um, willing to, you know, um, to know how you can make these particular screenshots, let me know in the comment section. I can definitely make a video about that. There is a little bit of um, image blur right here. Uh, this is definitely an upscaled version of whatever you guys are seeing in the game. And the background is just phenomenal. Um, and it is for this guy. I'm not even ruining fame. I I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing it probably very badly. Um, I don't know if this guy's a YouTuber or if he's, you know, on Twitter or if he's just, you know, uh, making screenshots. I don't know what the deal is. I do not know him, her. Uh, so if you guys know, let me know. I can definitely give this guy a shout out in, you know, upcoming videos or anything like that. If it's uh, worthwhile, um, you know, this is definitely an awesome looking screenshot. So just by, you know, by the things that we are seeing right here he's just he's just an amazing artist anyway um i do have a couple of tabs open up because i want to show you guys a little bit on um something that cryptic has changed last minute um appearing as a grand prize of the name tbd uh to be determined lockbox um now yesterday um in my uh, in my video right here it was called uh the discovery beyond the burn lockbound so btb lockbox that's what i christened it for and yesterday <laughs> is obviously hopefully um cryptic saw that video and is like no we're not going to name it so it is um they basically um change the name of the lockbox for far from home so ffh <laughs> lockbox i don't know <laughs> hopefully maybe they saw a video is like no that doesn't sound right and you know they made it far from home lockbox i don't know maybe could be i don't know continuing down the line so we're going to see a little bit of backstory right here um so the ship as true old Federation starship may only be commissioned by players that have either begun their career with the Federation or later aligned through their Romulan or Dominion storyline missions. Uh, kept it from the KF KDF who have reached level 65 will also eligible to fly this ship as part of the cross-fraction flying unlock uh, achievement of that level. So if you guys have been living in Iraq and you're like, hey, what's this? Uh, the cross-faction uh, you know, faction flying, this is something that they introduced maybe like six months ago or something in that nature very recently, um, giving you the, op the ability to, you know, fly uh, as a federation, you can actually fly KDF uh, ships, so from the Klingon side, and uh, vice versa. So as a um, you know um, a Klingon, you can basically also fly the federation uh, type ships. Um, 
that is just discord don't worry about it so here is the refit version so detachable i kind of already read this but just you know just let me go through it real quick so detachable nacelles programmable uh, matter interface improved central processing in um uh nano ogle secretary uh, nanogul, nanogul secretary. Instead of the art cloaking device and much more, um, these upgraded refit of the original Crossfit class has been giving the makeover of the Millennia as prepared to defend the feder uh, to defend the Federation and its allies in any time period due to its original lineage. The refit remains a measure of versatility and durability that places among the best to the fleet has to offer when it comes to uh, approaching the uh, unknown with a sense of wonder rather than fear fear um right here you guys are interested um so it is going to be a tier six for basically for everybody but you know if, uh, klingons are going to fly it at the end cap um minimum rank required you must complete the tutorial after that you can basically fly this thing with the federation or federation uh no basically just from the federation uh, so hold modifier 1.4 definitely high on that shield modifier 1.1 1 .1, uh, four weapons on the front three on the aft room for three devices so bridge officer station that's kind of interesting so we have a lieutenant commander tactical we have an ensign engineering we have uh, commander science slash miracle worker so you know specialization um, uh, bridge officer right there uh, we have a um, uh, universal uh, lieutenant and command so two definitely uh, miracle worker specialization so you have the miracle worker and the command and also a, a lieutenant uh, commander universal so definitely heavy um, on basically everything but it's if you look at the console modification three tactical so not a lot of dps or at least the traditional dps three engineering five science and one universal the plus one universal is definitely interesting i don't know if this is going to be something that they're going to add into the game because this thing also gives us a 12 console slots with the universal that's kind of interesting um so if you upgrade this particular ship to the tier 6 x version you're going to get three tactical three engineering uh, five science and two universals you know if this is not a mistake on cryptics um you know part this universal console right here so giving us a whooping basically if you utilize these two universal um console slots for tactical giving you five tactical three engineering and five science that's just insane or you can just whoop it out with five <laughs> plus two universal um you know make them science as well so giving you a seven universal console slots and my god <laughs> my god what this what is gonna happen with this thing um base turn rate of 11 degrees per second that's not a lot um impulse modifier 2 point sorry 0 0.2 with an inertia rating of 60 uh the base power is plus 5 to weapon plus 5 to engine plus 5 to shields and a whooping plus 50 to auxiliary power giving this thing a plus 30 uh, you know um base power to all um you know across the board definitely um this is something interesting we just got this the assault craft this is booker's um uh, ship coming from the infinity lock box and they made it that this thing is a universal console so if you guys understand let me bring up the game the come on work with me uh, basically just like this thing right here um, it's basically the same as the um, linked universal or uh, sorry this console universal linked command matrix matrix this is also uh, is going to summon a attack craft and that's basically what this thing is as well so um, giving you one more pet and they basically display it right here giving you a you know an extra uh, pet that you can actually utilize in combat this is definitely interesting because we actually saw booker's uh ship actually fly in a couple of times in the discovery right here at the uh at the um at the shuttle bay docking thingy um innovative ship mechanics can equip the dual cannons dual heavy cannons it has the battle cloak from the 32nd century um 
Starship Mastery Package, you can actually see it as well, Science Vessels, uh, or at least the Science Vessel version. So Enhanced uh, Particle Generator Armored Shield System, Enhanced Retro Circuitry, um, Reactive Shielding Technology, and this is going to be the Universal Trait, uh, Universal Design. I have no idea what that is, but we're definitely going to find out. Admirality, if you guys are into that, so Engineering 37, Science 59, Tactical 30, but also just by based up on the statistics right here, on the Admirality starts giving the highest to Science, making this particular ship a very, very good in Science heavy, um, you know, so definitely a Science, basically true to its, you know, uh, ship that we saw on, on the Discovery uh, TV show. So this is that Assault Craft. By activating this console, the Assault Craft may be launched from the ship aft shuttle bay and it comes to your aid in combat. The ship is built to damage and harass foe. It is extremely maneuverable. It remains in combat until recalled or disabled. If disabled, it automatically recalls itself and plays the console on recharge. I believe the, um, the, the cooldown of these things are two minutes. I I have no idea to be honest um, but um, I don't think there is any ability that can actually lower that but it is something in uh, that nature because basically all of the universal consoles have like a two minute cooldown so this is not going to be any different um, upon launching the craft will follow you uh, will follow your target to its best of its ability, damaging and harassing whichever uh, UFO is currently targeting. This agile and fast vessel is equipped with multiple phaser weapon, photon torpedoes, and the abilities listed below. Okay, so this is something new. They normally don't have this. Uh, so smasher assembly or super luminal smash, as seen of the player version of this ship. Of this ship. Hmm. That actually reminds me, I've never did a review on this particular ship. Wow, I just forgot about that. Ah, uh, man, I do apologize. I'm like, what is this ability? <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so also rock and roll. That's basically, a, um, I believe it's a pilot ability that basically uh, uh, rotates your ship. And also cannon rapid fire wound. What? That's all? Hmm. Okay, uh, this console additionally provides a passive boost to outgoing healing, max hull capacity, recharge time for Miracle Worker Bridge Officer ability. That's kind of nice because it has a, a Miracle Worker um, a Specialization Bridge Officer ability, so that's kind of that's cool. Uh, this console may be equipped to any starship or any console slot. So I wondered if I get this particular ship and I equipped it on my, um, my uh, Jemadar uh, carrier right here, Meaning I have two of these, two of these, so making that four, an extra uh, craft from the, you know, from the normal stuff that comes at the back of this thing. Uh, you know what, let me just go out on, on, uh, on space and actually show you guys. So, um, four pets uh, that are basically from the uh, hangar base. Um, you have the, the, the uh, what is it called, the, the pilot... Um, no, not the pilot, the, the, the escort of these things that also give you two. So that gives you six, as in pets. Uh, one from the Universal Console giving you seven pets that you can have outside in your particular ship. And also uh, this thing from the from the lockbox. Can we just load, please? I'm running out of text to say. <laughs> Sorry. Giving you a whooping of eight consoles or at least eight uh, pets that you can have outside of your ship. Oh my god, that's going to be insanity right there. And these are just the, the, the normal stuff. You can also have uh, the scorpion fighters that are devices that you can enhance your... Uh, wow. Oh my god. So the, the pilot... What are these things? The, the, I totally forgot what this uh, as ability was. But you have two of these. You have... Four in total of these, two of these, that's six, plus the detachable, this craft right here giving you seven, plus from the other universal giving you eight. Now there is always, there is also the um, scorpion fighters, I don't have it, uh, unfortunately, 
but that's that's insane how many <laughs> oh my god how many of these uh pets can you have in the game right now with this thing that's amazing nice anyway um continuing starship trait universal design each time you activate an ability of a universal console you should get a boost to uh wow Oh, that's going to be interesting. Uh, sorry, I just read um, before I could actually speak. So, your ship gains a boost to universal crit hit chance and critical severity. Each activation of the trait refreshes the duration of all existing stacks. You may only have one, act or sorry, five stacks active uh, simultaneously. Per activation of stacks for 20 seconds. Oh, that's nice. Um, so, you can actually see it right here. 2% critical chance and also plus 10 in critical severity huh okay so flat out this is definitely something that I'm gonna grab um, yeah this is definitely something that I'm gonna grab the universal console is definitely speaking to me like hey get me the trait is definitely interesting as well whenever you're going to activate a universal console ability uh, you're going to get critical chance, critical severity. That's definitely interesting. I don't know about the bridge officers, how um, how good this thing is going to be um, in terms of versatility, in terms of DPS or in terms of crowd control or tanking purposes. I leave that to you guys. I really don't care about that, but I, my God, um, the design by this particular ship is nothing really interesting, new, or anything like that. We already have this particular ship in the game. I definitely love the Glen version, the the um, from the uh, from the uh, what's it called from the pack. Um, I totally forgot what the, what the naming of the pack is, but you guys know what I mean. Um, and I definitely love that particular ship. So this is not something interesting in terms of design, but this is definitely interesting. You can actually see that the the warp nacelles actually are moving a little bit away from the from the from the ship. Uh, wow, 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 wow! I love it. I love it. To be honest, um, what are these things called again? There we go, the wingman maneuvers. All right, uh, the Gemini wingman. So, two, four, six, seven. The other one, eight, eight pets at you know that you can have outside, and that's that's insane. You can also have the these guys up here for the you know the that, that you can definitely help out um, in terms of when you are actually lacking in DPS with. Oh my god, this is going to be interesting. This is definitely going to be interesting. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Hopefully you guys had a little bit of fun and entertainment and information coming out of my uh, channel. I would love to see you guys on the next video. Later!